So ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the best settings for you to get the most frames and the best visuals in Grey Zone Warfare. Now, you do have to excuse in the top right, my frames are floating around the 100. And when I zoom in, they drop all the way down to the 80, 90. This is because I've got the application open on my computer at the same time to record this, which is Streamlabs OBS. Um, so it does bring it right down. I'm normally sitting around 344, uh, sorry, not 344, 144 up to about 160. Um, but with this on, it's obviously tanking it a little bit and bringing it right down. But um, I'm going to basically be showing you the best settings so you can actually see the best, the clearest, and still get the best frames. When you're aiming, your frames do drop by about 20, 30. Um, but yeah, these will be the best frames. And you are going to need a 40 series graphics card to be able to get it like this. Otherwise, I'll show you the, the best settings to have it if you haven't got a, a 40 series graphics card. Um, but regardless, let's jump straight into the settings. So if we go to start and we go over to settings, we go to graphics. Let me show you all my games just so you can see. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I'm just going to show you everything so nothing's changed in these. But it's the graphics where I've really got it set up. So I've actually got the vertical field of view at 70. Now you could obviously zoom in whatever suits you best. 75 is going to be the best for me. Um, I've got the brightness turned up. Thank you to the person who commented in the last video. I've actually gone and changed my color settings to these. And it actually feels really nice to give me a real nice color in the background. Now my frame rate limit, I actually cap at 144. Now I've capped it to 144, but I still go over that. So I don't know what's happening in the game, but I'm completely fine with that. And the frame rate limit background, I leave at 30 frames, just so when I'm not on the game, um, I still get that frame, um, the, or the game processing in the background. Now I do actually go ahead here and put this on low. So I would go ahead and switch this down to low that you're going to see in a moment because you see when I'm flicking through, it's really tanking because I'm doing the, the stream labs. But because this game is obviously live, um, it, it you can see it in real time to get the best settings for you. Um, if I was to, for instance, let me just press no, and I'm going to look at this bush. Now, let me just show you something here, which is major. If I look at this bush right now, you can see straight through it. If I don't do this setting here in the graphics, which is this one, and I turn that down to low and apply, look at that bush. You can see through it now, but from a distance, I really can't see through any of these bushes. The foliage is awful. But the second I go ahead and turn the settings up on that, it makes it so I can actually see through it from afar. Um, and then I can see through it really detailed when I zoom in. Um, the reason I would say that have this one out of high out of everything um, is it doesn't really change the frames you see in the top. And um, we're looking at the frames right now. They're going between 110, 130. If I quickly just go ahead and go back to that and uh, bring that down to low. The frames haven't changed at all. They're sitting around the same frames. Um, but yet again, you can still see when you zoom in. But when you zoomed out, you really can't see anything through that, that bush. Um, and as you know, there is PvP in this game. We still want to be able to see the enemies and it just basically clears up the bush a little bit. Let me turn my camera a little bit there so that we can actually see it in real time um, graphics. And if you look at that bush right now, look at it low, go into medium and go into high. It's giving us more visuals. It's not uh, blurring the edges, it's sharpening the edges. There's no difference really between epic and high. Um, so I just have it as, as low as possible where I'm still getting that quality because yet again like that we can't really see through. Um, we want to be able to see the textures through it as much as possible. So we leave that on high. Um, Post-processing, we have leave on low. Motion blur, leave on zero. Now the sharpening, I actually put on 90 just so we can still see uh, outlines of people from far away. Um, so I've got that on 90. Now the colorblind mode, I use to do Trinope. Um, and the reason I use this is because it does dull down the colors. But where I've got the saturation up a little bit up here, um, it gives me real good visuals. Because if you look at the person there, no matter what I do... His colour stays... I'm not going to see it because the helicopter dust coming in. Um, but his actual clothing colour does not change no matter the colourblind mode. Um, so in theory, what we want to do is we want to try and get the, the background to contrast against their clothing as much as possible. So we see these, the greens are very green and vibrant. That yet again there. But if we leave it kind of like that, we can really see the outline of these people to the backgrounds. Now, if this was at 10... Um, it makes it so it's really dark, the background. You can see it like that. Let's just go through it like this. Uh, yeah, again, it's still a personal preference. Whatever stands out easiest for you. I really like this, and I like to put it down free. Now everyone's eyes are going to be different. But to me, that's a nice way of keeping the game's color quite nice 
and still being able to see the people in the background fairly easy and then yet again having that on high so i can see through the bushes in a far from afar now um this is where the main changes occur so here is the in the advanced settings where all of your frames are going to be generated from um or well not all but a majority because as you can see right now if i apply that and back out you see my frames are sitting at 110 to 120 if i go into settings and remember they are normally better but if i go back into settings and i quickly change this to fsr and i come out and now i've got this on ultra performance i'm getting 60 to 80 and uh, just to quickly just show you I could flick it to another one if i went to xess i'm still getting around that 60 to 80 um but then when you've got if you've got the dlss you can have it going all the way up and not only that right i've got it on quality so we can see here on quality it's giving me the frames at the top so i can still see through all the bushes with that high frames and if i went and put that on ultra performance yes it's going to go up but the negative is this bush here in the background is not going to be that good um so you could mess around with it to try and get a perfect view but look at the ultra performance it's just blurring everything yeah i've got more frames now you can see i'm actually running my frames really good but look at the character models they're looking really blurry i've gotten fuzz around everything that's in motion uh, and we really don't want that so we want to try and make the outlines look good so we can really pick up on people that are trying to click uh, creep up on us now you could go ahead and mess around with this um i have put it on quality and i have put it on balance i would personally only go between balanced and quality to be able to get that real sharp outline um, because balance you see it's a little bit blurry anyway if i go quality it brings it right up and brings the sharpness well actually that, that actually made it a little bit blurrier then funny enough um but yeah normally i'd go for quality over anything just to give me that overall sharpness from afar and then i've got nvidia reflex low latency on um, and then obviously you could put the the sharpness on here up now i'm not actually going to do that i'm going to leave that down because i've got my in-game sharpness turned up so I'm not really too bothered about that. And it's still actually making the player models even blurrier. Um, and this is basically all of my settings, guys, that I'm currently running in the game. Um, so, yeah, let me just quickly just go from a top to bottom. A slow scroll down so you can see. Here you can see everything on this page. I'll give it for five seconds. Then I'll go over. You can see what screen I'm using as well, which is a 2K screen. Um, and it's got 155 hertz, 1 millisecond, 2K. Really good monitor. Um, for its price if you want it, it's the AOC 2702 so try and get this monitor and as you can see the display resolution is really nice and I really recommend it especially if you're looking for a cheap model 2k monitor and um, then yet yeah, again you've got your vertical f uh, field of view brightness contrast saturation gamma frame rate limit fr frame rate limit background and then I've got everything at low apart from foliage quality which I've got a high just so you can see through I've got my post processing at low motion blur none Sharpening at 90, Dutronope, I'm not so sure if I'm saying that right, with it at 3 in terms of strength, DLSS, and I've got it on quality just so I can still see people super duper sharp when I'm zooming in and looking through bushes in the backgrounds. So guys, hopefully this video helped. Um, let me know in the comments down below what videos, what help you need in this game. I'm doing all the missions, I'm going to be doing uploads for them. Um, I've, I've already shown you every single LZ. If you want to... Um, have people to play with like i'm looking for people to play with if you've got this game and you want to want someone to play with come over to the discord the link is in the description discord.gg forward slash death squad i'm live on tuesdays and thursdays uh, on twitch.tv i death wish i it is a free however this week and next week i will not be because i'm going on holiday um but yeah come over to the discord join the tab for the gray zone war, war zone uh, warfare sorry and uh come talk and then let's play some games together so without further ado like follow comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace